What's happening guys, it's your buddy Grizz, and today I got some more Call of Duty for you. Um, domination on the map Ascend, and this time I'm using an LMG of all things. Uh, the game is pretty AR heavy, don't tend to see a whole lot of LMGs, shotguns, and snipers. But this guy here, the Emily, I, Emily? I don't know, I think it's, it's called that. It, anyway, this thing is a beast. Uh, this particular variant I got from a supply drop, and I'm not sure what the stats that are affected are because I, I prestige soon after this game and I, I don't have this weapon unlocked yet again, so it's pretty high up there in the levels, like 40s maybe I'm thinking, but uh, yeah, so I don't know exactly what the stats were that are affected in this particular variant, but uh, I can tell you that the weapon in itself is pretty awesome and you should use it you should definitely try it more if you if you haven't been checking out the uh, lmgs at all um but yeah i'm still enjoying the game it's, it's still been pretty fun it hasn't lost its uh enjoyment factor that much i guess so yeah that's that i know it's been almost two weeks since i uploaded a video and i am sorry about that i really am uh, and this isn't really going to be a total high effort video, which I'm also sorry for. But um, I'm just going to, I got my coffee here, and so if you hear me take a sip, like, like that. Oh my god, that was hot. Oof. Probably shouldn't take that much of a gulp. Anyways, <laughs> if you hear a little sip of that, I'm just taking a sip of my coffee. I figured I'd just sit down and talk to you guys. And, uh... I know you guys understand uh, that, you know, it's been so long since I uploaded a video, so the whole episode which took place over the last two weeks had left me a little sad, not gonna lie. I was a sad Grizzno for the past two weeks, but, uh, you know, that can be expected. And I'm sure you guys all understand as well, so, and I also want to say uh, thank you guys so much for the messages, all the positive messages that I got, and you guys just like, you know, telling your stories, uh, sharing your stories of loss and how you dealt with it and all that. Like, it really, it really helped me. It really helped me a lot. I didn't really reply to anybody because I was just not feeling like it. <laughs> Sorry. I usually try to reply to everybody, but uh, I didn't really feel like it this time. I didn't want to leave anyone out, so I just didn't reply to anyone. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the messages. It really helped. I'm doing much better now. Coming to grips with everything sort of thing, I guess. Um, I'm still, I guess, somewhat in shock. Just the unknown about you know, what actually caused my friend Matt to pass away is just killing me. The doctors don't know, they won't know for a while, and it's just, ugh, that's the worst thing about this whole experience. Well, that and just not being able to hang out with one of my best friends ever again, that also sucks, but, you know. But yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing much better now. We had uh, a memorial event at the Seahorse, which is a bar in Halifax that, uh, uh, when I used to play in bands, we used to play there a lot, and Matt was always there for every show, so, you know, it was pretty cool. We held at the Seahorse. It's a really nice spot, and uh, I was the MC, actually. They asked me to be the MC, so I, like, spoke first, I did my speech, and then I introduced everyone else who was coming up to speak. Um, all the wonderful things that were said about the guy, all the pictures and the standees, that they made, oh, it was just, it was amazing. He, he worked in the film industry, so it was kind of like a film theme. And man, the people that were there, you guys, it was crazy. Like, first of all, we were way over, we were like 50 people over capacity for the venue. I think 310 showed up in the end, which is pretty awesome. Like, that's, that's great. Like, the guy had so much, so many friends, he touched so many people's lives. And it was pretty evident on uh, on Wednesday night, not not last one, not last night, but the Wednesday of last week. Um, and there were some crazy people there too, like Christina Ricci was there, 
and uh, Richard Zarowski. You guys might not know who Richard Zarowski is, but he's a pretty uh, well-known personality, television personality, I guess, in Canada. He was a meteorologist, and then he had a, a show, a science show called Wonder Why, and uh, it was awesome. Big uh, memories from childhood. Ever wonder why? It's pretty cool to see Richard Zarowski there. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry about that, guys. I'm doing it a little different. I'm not st stopping the recording at all. I'm just going to do it in one shot. Oh, I love coffee. Love coffee. Anyways, um, let's keep going on here. Uh, all the pictures I'll see. I got a cool poster of me and him from my wedding. And I might show that to you guys when I make my setup video. I'm trying to hold off on the setup video for 2,000 subscribers, but... It, it's taken forever, so I figure I'll just do it. I don't really care anymore. Um, but yeah, all the videos. I made a memorial video, which I'll give you guys a link to if you want to check it out. It's pretty, uh, it's very sentimental, so if you are if you don't want to cry, you might not want to watch it. But it's pretty funny, too, because he was an actor in a lot of comedic things. So I used clips from, from all his acting, uh, his awesome acting spots. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about what's going to come. Uh, I know I haven't had a Kid Up episode in a while, so I, I've, I've almost got it done, actually. I have a problem where I start multiple projects, and then I never finish one. So I've got, like, Kid Up going. I've got, like, three guides going. I, I know you guys wanted me to finish that Carbine Guide forever ago, but I've got, like, the Carbine Guide, the LMG Guide, and the DMR Guide going at the same time. So I gotta, I gotta focus in and finish that Carbine Guide for you. Um, and I also want to make another montage. I, I think it's time. I feel the editing itch. I've got some uh, new tricks up my sleeve, and I want to try them out. Um, I know not a lot, not everyone likes montages, but I really, I, I find them fun to make. So I'm gonna make one soon, I think. Um, Final Stand, now that everyone has gotten a chance to play it, it came out yesterday for non-premium members. Uh, what do you guys think? I love Hangar 21 and Hammerhead, but I don't know if I'm too hot on Giants and Operation Wideout. They're just so wide open with not much cover, and it always turns into like a vehicle circle jerk, especially in lesser populated servers. You know, it's, it's tough out there for a lowly infantryman. Um, I do love playing inside the bunker on Giants though, that's like, that's really fun. That part of the map is really cool, but the rest is just so open, and it's, it's tough. It's tough! Overall, I think uh, Hammerhead is definitely my favorite of the four new maps. Um, and I think I said Whiteout? No, I said, I love Hangar 21 and Hammerhead. Yes, I did say that, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Hammerhead's my favorite of the four new maps. And I'm not even going to talk about the railgun. All that needs to be said is shenanigans. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. Um, another thing I wanted to ask about, I'm hoping to get some comments from you guys because I haven't talked to you in a while and I feel like replying to you this time. So leave me some comments on this video with the answers to my questions. What about, uh, what are you guys thinking about Hardline? I noticed Jack Frag started a Do You Know Battlefield Hardline series. I haven't watched the video yet, but I'm going to check it out because I liked his... Do you know Battlefield 4 series a lot? It's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, so Hardline. What are you guys thinking about Hardline? You gonna get it or what? And Battlefront, uh, what's the. I, I didn't even. I haven't even been paying attention, but I've, I'm still so excited for Battlefront. I gotta. I gotta check. Check out what the latest news is on that. Also, speaking of Battlefront, what do you guys think about the new Star Wars teaser? I thought it was pretty friggin' cool. Uh, I'm excited for it anyway. Um, speaking of trailers, I want you guys to go check out Foam Drive Renegades, which is my friend Matt's most recent um, film uh, achievement. They won a couple awards for short film. It's really, really awesome. Uh, I might, if I can get a little clip, I'll put a little preview after the video, and then I'll leave a link in the description. Um, because I really think Matt's shit needs to be seen like it's really good and uh it's you know widely unknown so i'll leave a link for you guys if you want to check it out as for me and what's coming to the channel other than what i mentioned uh before about the guides and such uh i'd love to do 
just get back to more frequent videos, hopefully. Uh, I'm in the busy season at work, I'm picking up a lot of extra hours, which is definitely nice for the bank account, but uh, it sort of hurts the uh, gaming time. But, you know, <laughs> I'm going to try my best to be a little more frequent for you guys. I want to get back into this, like, hardcore. And, uh, yeah, I want to get back to, like, two, three videos a week. Life has just seemed like it's been one crazy event or episode after another for the past year here in Grizzno land. Grizanada, if you will. But hopefully I'll be speaking to you all in the comments of the videos more frequently, and thank you all so much for the support. It has been insane. It makes me feel awesome. You guys make me feel awesome. So thank you from the bottom, or as Dennis Leary would call it, the cockles of my heart. Uh, again, you guys are awesome. Don't ever change. And if, if you guys are going through a tough time of your own, feel free to send me a message on YouTube or Twitter or Facebook. And I will definitely reply, I'll do my absolute best to give you some sound advice on what to do or how to deal with whatever it is you're dealing with. Because, you know, at this point in my life, I've, I've been through quite a few experiences. So I, I'm here for you too, guys. I think I can help you. Alright. Good talk. See you soon.